Right guys, welcome now to Open Week and it is challenge time. So this week we've got all the videos coming from Bergdale that we've done, course vlogs and challenges. You should have already been watching part one, two and three on Rick's channel from Bergdale. And now it's time for the first one of the challenges, which is a pot bunker tight to a hole, something which a hell of a lot of players are gonna be facing this week. Myself and Rick, three balls each, closest to the pin, and we need to toss a coin. Have you got a coin? I have. This is the six hole, the par three slash four. Uh, par four, par, par five, we're not sure which one it is just yet. It's definitely and not it's, par three, we know that. <laughs> it's par four or par five. It's the bunker short left. I'll go heads. Heads it is. Do you want to go first? I second? would like to go second. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a pound back because you, you won't get it back otherwise. I know what you like. Right, so not. we won't do dropping, we'll do placing. Placing. Okay. So that's the flag just up there. I think draw a line of where, like a close line. Like, closer to, let's go front of the bunker. Oh, so what, here? Yeah, from that point. So it's got to be in front of that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it, otherwise it's not, it's not really going to be too incriminating. Flags. Incriminating? <laughs> what, what are you planning to do in it? <laughs> Falling, <laughs> top of the hill and it falls off to the right. So you've got to land it left side of the flag. Nearest the pin. One shot. The nearest shot, shall I say. That's the in. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. <laughs> That's a great first shot. I think I might do all the challenges with bunker shots, I think. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Just a little bit more. Just under Reddit. All right, wow. <laughs> Actually, that's a nice shot. What's your advice on bunker shots like this, Pete? Um, I mean, you know, for the viewers watching. I mean... For me, there's a lot of different ways to play bunker shot, but for me, it's opening the face pretty much so you can rest the glass on it, especially when you're this close to the uh, lip. Opening the body left until the leading edge pretty much points to target. And I'm just going to swing along my body line, a little bit of wrist hinge, but I'm also going to allow the club to pass my hands coming through. Thanks, I'll be trying that in a minute. So it's a <laughs> oh, it wasn't for anyone else who's better. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, they are three, fan that's in. Oh, man. They are three fantastic bunk shots. So Pete used um, TP5s and they've all got number five on them. Now they are three, go and have a, I'll get prepared. I'll rate the bunk, go and show everyone that. Oh, the gander up there. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty pleased with those ones. I'll move, I'll move well. I'll move the two that are furthest away. So this first one, that's a little bit far away. It's my second one, which was closer. And my third one just after, but all pretty good putts. Pretty good putts. That have been exceptional putts out of there. Pretty good bunker shots. Uh, a bit right. tying us catching up. Hold it to win, I think. So Rick has uh, just got ahead of that line there. He's certainly pushing it as tight as it can possibly be. I think he's actually teed it up on the end of that line. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's just a little bit long and left. I'm out. That's a sighter. <laughs> that is a sighter. Okay. You should be worth saying, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but they were pretty good bunker shots. That's not actually a, that's not actually a bad shot from Rick. <laughs> I've left a little lip for myself. Okay, Rick's just obliterating that line, moving it a wee bit further back. No, like the tactics. <laughs> Rick's rules, you know that. Right. <laughs> so, shot number two. Go on, Rick, you got this. Oh, that's going to be good. Real good. Oh, that's going to be close, that. <laughs> that's going to be close between those two. Okay. I think I know what to do now. I think I'm, you still just got me there, actually. I'm not sure. From here, it, yours looks closer, but maybe it's just the angle. Okay, I know what to do now. It's going to be very close there. So this one... This shot. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I tried to get a bit cutie I was up and moving. I was almost running up to the green. I was going to do a shot in motion. Oh man. Oh, I should have definitely done that one! <laughs> I should have definitely done that one. <laughs> Oh, I 
shot. Did I win anyway? No. And no. <laughs> No, I think it was just, literally just me. Yeah, literally just oh me. I have to say, I think we should call that an honourable draw, seems you hold that shot. <laughs> Guys, comment below, should that be a draw? Or should we just keep the rules as they were for me? Uh, Rick's rules, Rick wins. <laughs> you know what, in hindsight, no, I win. <laughs> I win that challenge. <laughs> right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Oh, I can't believe that. Like the video, share it around, give it a thumbs up for Rick's incredible second shot. And Bergdale, thank you so much for having us down, allowing us to do this filming today. The course is incredible, and the Open Championship, it should be amazing. It should be amazing. Yeah, you know what to do. Yeah, you know what to do. Take, take six shots. <laughs> take six shots and hold the last one. <laughs> Actually, it's seven, wasn't Actually it? Seven. Take seven shots on the last one. <laughs> right, guys. See you next time.